How about now? Okay, gosh. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. Zedekai and Jeb, both of these are very experienced players. Uh, yeah. Zedekai, one of the few uh, Wii Fit Trainer mains I've ever seen. Yeah, one of three in the world. And, uh, surprising to see uh, Jeb go Bayonetta. I thought he was. Oh, I don't know. He, uh, he went through uh, teams today with, with uh, Bayonetta. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, we played him in doubles. It's, uh, it's a pretty pro proficient Bayonetta, so let's see how this matchup goes. Now, the versatility of Bayonetta means you can play her in a million different ways. Yeah. Fits a lot of different play styles. Oh, yeah, for sure. Although I think we're all looking for that uh, for that crazy combo off the top of the screen that everyone loves. Yeah. Oh! oh. Ooh, nah, that could have oh. been bad. Yep. All right, so, uh, yeah, Zedekai, when, she, when Zedekai has that, uh, the deep breathe, I mean, she does a lot of damage and not a knockback, so it's I'm wondering true. if I'm going to see Jeb just kind of stay away when she has the deep breathe and wait for it to run out, or if she's just going to... Uh, if I was Jeb, I'd be rushing Zedekai down to make sure that she never had time for deep breathing. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Don't play Wii Fit's game. Exactly. And I see he's going to be a lot more careful on those edge guards. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's going to get spiked Ooh, again. Good forward throw. Up. Let's dodge. All right, there we go. Yeah, now this, now's the time. Got that deep breathing off. Time to get away. Ooh, oh, nice wait on that air dodge. Yeah, he shouldn't air dodge. There wasn't much he could get off of that, so that was a nice wait. Oh, see, there you go. Good adaption by Zedekai. Oh, if, that was uh, nice. if Jeb's not going to give you the space, make your own space. Looks oh. like he's going to just platform. Oh, yeah. He has a stock Ooh. lead. Okay. He says, I've got four minutes to spare. How about you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. I wonder what, what are Wii Fit's approach options? Well, that's the that's the rough thing, man. I mean, like, while Bayonetta is not like very strong hit to hit, she's got a lot. She can cover a lot of ground in front of her with her various options. Oh, Ooh. nice up spike. Nice uh, volleyball hit. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice her set. Out of here. <laughs> set up. Yeah. That's that Tian Shinhan move. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good read to finish off that stock where yep. he got to oh. out of hand. Nice cancel out of the up B with another jump. Oh, nice oh. catching that side B. All these modified Tatsus and sure you can. <laughs> yeah. yeah D Jeb does a good job of like, you know, fighting to the ground with his special so oh, that yeah, he doesn't for sure. get punished for that lag. Yeah, Zedekai's in a lot of trouble right here. Ooh. Oh, nice spot, guys. Yeah, I wonder if you're going to see just a lot of back airs coming oh, out yeah. of these. Kill percent. We bear bears, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it looks, <laughs> yep, see, there you go. Hey, yep. hey, it works. Do it change works, the man. tempo, change the timing. You can do anything you want. Ain't no, re ain't no reason not to. I wonder if you can even. I don't know if we can punish that. <laughs> All right. So, is Zedekai going to switch off? Nope. Oh, he's uh, dedicated. I guess. Going down swinging. Yeah. Just maybe feels like there's just a couple things he can do better. Says the more swinging I do, the more tone I get. And it seems like his only approach option seems to be uh, falling up air. Yeah. I don't really oh. know what else. Nice. Yeah, that was good. So, yeah, that's that's going to be – that that's a failed experiment right there. That's That's – War of Attrition is not going to go well for uh, Wii Fit Trainer in that situation. Yeah. Oh! I think that's going to be another one of Zedekai's problems here is that Wii Fit Trainer just doesn't have the speed to really keep up with Bayonetta on, yeah, on the ground. Yeah, she's like using her afterburner, yep. down angle afterburner to get away. She can't really catch her. Nope. There you go. Get her in the ground. Nice yeah, read. catch her in the air on the read. Because no one's going to just stay there. Like that that's the thing that uh, the counter punchers in boxing will tell you. It's like it doesn't matter how fast they are, if you know what they're gonna do, you can hit them. Yeah. It seems like 
I'm not gonna make any assumptions about this match here, but it seems kind of hard for Wee Fit. Because... Yeah, I, I would say she definitely has the disadvantage here. Yeah, which is odd because you know, Wee Fit seems to have very good set of normals. They just yeah. don't do much for her. Yeah, and her hitboxes are kind of wonky. Yeah, there's not a lot of hit. There's not a lot of pushback from them. And on top of that, like her up air doesn't even damage as she comes back. See, uh, Jeb is trying to get this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Mixing that. Failed opportunity Ooh. there. I wonder once again if we're going to see the back airs coming out. <laughs> it's like when, when a bayonet struggles to kill, it comes out a lot. Yep. Oh. He's being very aggressive, though. He's just or sometimes the neutral air. <laughs> yep. There you go. You called it. Oh. oh. There you go. True combo. Surprising to see Jeb go off stage to go from some of these edge guards when he can get easily volleyball spiked. Ooh, it's not nice. really worth it. Well, it looks like if Zedekai can formulate a plan around spiking, uh, it's going to work out for him because Jeff's eating them. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice tech coming out. Yep. Uh, come on, oh, Zed. Don't get, don't get too stocked, Zed. Oh, up there you go. Hey, serving him up. <laughs> <laughs> Serving breakfast all day here at We Fit Trainer Town. Yeah. Seems like it's the only consistent kill option. Is yeah, maybe. Catching the aerial or some, catching an arrow. Some some poor characters are just like that. Yeah. Zero Suit used to have a solid up air kill, and that's gone. Oh, Zero Suit has ridiculous kill power. Hmm. Here we go off stage. We're gonna see a lot of yep. damage come out. Nice. Oh no. Good uh good knocked himself with his own volleyball to get back in. He almost caught that air dodge with that. Yeah. He's doing a nice job coming yeah, back this, so far. Yeah. You know, this could go either way at this point. Yeah, and I would really like back. to I would really like to see it too. Oh I, I, I like the way that, that was down. solid. It's such a good mix up. There you <laughs> go. Hitbox. <laughs> yep, hitboxes. Uh oh. Oh he could have punched me for that. Brought to you by yeah. Namco. Ooh, look what I read. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is that going to oh, be man. it? Oh, no, oh, nope. get it. Oh! oh wow. That should it's still be, uh, I was saying, that should oh. still be good enough. Nice! Cut the roll, Reed. Yeah! Let's finish him off. That's a nice oh. mix the uh, ball. Zedekai is putting in all this work. Yeah, he's definitely come back. Oh. Uh oh. Whiff. Mm. Oh, ooh, ooh. that could have been a game. Oh, is oh. that gonna be it? Almost. Ooh. Oh. He's reading his air dodge. What an He's amazing not connecting. air dodge. Oh no. Oh, is that gonna it, do it? it? Yeah, it's gonna do it. Oh no! no. Wow. Hey, he's uh, he's not going away. Fitness never dies. He actually could have caught him breathing there with those bullets. Ah. Oh. Oh, no! Nope. He is living. <laughs> not going away. He says, oh. no, we don't take those out here. We don't take those. Ooh, almost catch, catching Almost. That normal, one frame, one. Oh, oh in the back air. Yep. That's, when in doubt, back air, man. <laughs> we bear bears. All right. Finals for okay. Well, I gotta go back to the director's booth. Uh, hand this back over to Sylvanas and whoever happens to sit down next to him. But uh, I might see you guys later if we run out of commentators. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Good job, man. Hey, Colin, was you about to play? All right. Final one. You want to be my coach? Okay, so who's Frank? I'm Frank. Okay. Player one, please. All right, I guess I'm by myself here, man. Nobody want to help me out. You got this, though. Valamoy, you want to <coughs> hop in? Want to hop in? 
Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, what's up, dude? What's up, man? What's your uh, tell people? Uh, Zix. Hey. I I was actually on here earlier. I was uh, oh, okay. commentating you guys during oh. uh, grand finals. All that hype doubles. That was an amazing. Back. Yeah, man. Bunch of sets. Hey. Like the whole five sets beforehand was really, really good. Yeah. We got the reverse six zero. Yeah. Congrats. Feel good. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, how was, how are you enjoying it? I know you're from out oh, of state, I'm, right? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying this. This is a nice venue. Yeah. Got free pizza. <laughs> Can't turn down <coughs> free pizza. Yeah. <coughs> oh, you gonna be okay? <coughs> Alright, we back. We back. <laughs> We're good. We live right. in boys. So right now we got Crank and Sleepy. Impul or Sleepy. Lucas player. I actually played cr uh, Crank. He's pretty good. Pretty good DD. He looks like a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, he like tries, be his friend. <laughs> tries to bait you out the entire game. Yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah starting out on Smashville. <clears throat> the, in this matchup, uh, Lucas can do a lot of damage. A lot of work. From, yeah, yeah. yeah, with the. Uh, gets long combos from there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I haven't seen this guy go for a lot of damage. It's kind of. His neutral air is really, really nasty for uh, DDD. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice forcing yeah. the ground with those uh, PK fires. Yep, yeah. it's going to hit that right back. Uh, it's it's gonna really happen. nice to spam in this matchup. Yeah, and Lucas can really put out a lot of hits far out in front of him. PK fire, the rope snake. Um, his forward air reaches out deceptively far, so... Yeah, no. I do not think he should be throwing uh, Gordos. Yeah, uh, if, he, if he throws it, he has to throw it up really high so that you know he can't just be <laughs> fire it. Or he actually can hit it with Rope Snake as well. You yeah. know, knock it back. So it's pretty dangerous to just throw it. Yeah. And, uh, Sleepy's not letting him just bait him out. He's uh, constantly just spamming these PK fires, and, you know, playing patient, not getting baited by this DD. DDD is just really sh struggling to get in. Oh, right yeah. Now. You know, he's got on twice the damage, but. Uh, one thing that is. Oh, wow. I don't know how that. <laughs> Weird interactions with Gordo. <clears throat> yeah, the one thing about this matchup is. Uh, it takes. Oh, oh no. wait a minute. Okay. He taunted. Did he taunt? Taunt? This guy. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I like this guy, man. Yeah, but he uh, he got the hitbox on that uh, magnet, and it reflected uh -huh. the Gordo. That's uh, oh my god! Did I Rope mean? snake into forward smash. Is that real? That, that's Is that not, true? That's not true. It, it might have been. I don't know. He went so confidently for it that I would believe it. I don't think that uh, Crank was expecting that. Yeah. At all. So he nobody was, is. You know, <laughs> thought he was going to get, just get hit by Rope Snake. <laughs> but obviously, so. Uh, oh, is that dash is stuck, and that's uh. It's a little unfortunate. He didn't get a lot of percent before losing uh -huh. the second stock. He didn't really get to make use of that stock, but yeah. he's going in with that snake again and PK fire. Yep. Air. Oh, so man. much, so much that you know, Crank can't do. There's really not much DDD can do. He kind of has to just wait for you to make a mistake at the time. So yeah, and yeah, like that throwing out an unsafe. You PK know, fire. Sleepy's playing so safe. It's it's hard to find those. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's gonna push his. Uh, he's gonna push that his. That Gordo trap would have worked out really well if that platform wasn't there, but you know, he just waits on the platform and gets back to stage safely. And it's it's kind of it's just so weird to see this. Uh, like the Lucas is not using there at all. Like he could do so much damage. To that. I yeah. mean, there it goes. I mean, that was a nice combo. But hey, hey, man, he's playing. I guess he's playing the safest version of Lucas. Oh, Gordo working out that time. Uh-oh, this could be... That could have been dangerous. Pretty sure that was a misinput. Try to do a PK fire. Yeah, turn around PK fire. Yeah, happens. 
See, this is kind of dangerous. See, when it yep, goes above of... his head. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what he does. Oh, he's boldly fighting back. Come on, stage. Oh, what <laughs> kicks it backwards. Guy, he's not taking this match seriously at all. Clearly. This guy is. This guy is Even though he's down in percent. Oh, see, that is not true. He's got jokes. Grab him. I don't know why I'm telling him. I, I play Lucas, so I'm just. I'm playing Lucas in my head right now. <laughs> oh, God. A no. little late oh. on that. Uh, whatever he was trying to hit. Gordo yeah, back he, with. he tried to hit it with the. Uh, Looked like Rope Snake. With the Rope Snake. I mean, it would have worked, but. I, I guess it didn't come out fast enough. Yeah. This guy, uh, he, somebody tell this guy to use Nair. Y you can probably get DDD with Both of them least. should be using Nair. Yeah. They both have really good Nairs against each other. Yeah, and he's, he's I mean, he could get them with, like, five Nairs in a row. Uh -huh. There's, there would be nothing DDD could do even with <laughs> SDI because he's so big. Uh-huh. It's, uh, it's really a lot of damage that's not being tacked on that should be. Yeah, it felt like that match was going like really slow just because damage was building up so slowly. Nobody was aggressively approaching. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's, it's, I might, I'm going to say that that probably favors that probably favors DDD because he Definitely. lives for so long and he isn't really. I haven't seen him actually go for a down throw to up air or anything like that. So yeah. it's going to be hard from the you know, take yeah. these sets if he's not. Yeah, that's going to benefit DDD more because Sleepy had the lead the entire game. You know, he got up to 90% and then all of a sudden Crank takes the lead. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if he does the same thing on Omega Onet. Onet? So uh, Sleepy actually getting some coaching here. So let's see what, uh, what adjustments he makes or what his coach told him to do. He didn't play too bad. It's no, not pretty good. Surprising, we're seeing a lot less PK fire. Today. Yeah, more more snake than uh, fire. <laughs> well, PK yeah. the devil. He's staying right at the edge. You know, he's yeah, and I, when I play, to come in. <laughs> One thing I noticed about Sleepy, he's a uh, he's always trying to hit the Gordo's back in some way. He's always trying to hit the Gordo, no matter uh -huh. what. So I'm wondering if I'm going to see uh, Crank actually use that to his advantage. Just yeah, you know, bait him use out. the Gordo as a, as a bait kind of as a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Finally. Oh, do it again. <laughs> oh, I wanted to do it there so bad. It's uh, going a little bit different this time. Crank actually doing well to keep him off stage. I don't know if Sleepy's uncomfortable over there, but yeah, he's uh he's going high a lot. Yeah. Doing a lot of high recoveries. I wonder if he's just uh, scared of being trapped on the ledge. So. I would be against uh, DDD. Yeah, this DDD can be scary. It's kind of frustrating as well. He can he can frustrate you. He's constantly jumping. He's waiting for you to make a mistake. Yeah, Down see that, tilt crab. that Gordo made it really hard for Sleepy. Almost oh, didn't get over it. That's a, oh man, we got some. Got some Reese going here. Just not capitalizing on it. <laughs> Just reading the rolls and stuff. <laughs> Catching yeah, it right under that. It's the Gordo. Gordo again. Yeah, he's, he's always hit. Always on it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Um, back at it. Uh, no stocks gone yet, but the game is almost half over. No. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Sleepy knows how to do the down throw up there. Because this is probably the percent where he'll die. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not seeing him. I wonder if he's trying to get that with the uh, Zero approach. Well, he's not even getting many grabs at all. Yeah, he's not. He plays a very heavy zone. Yeah. Oh, Actually, not fast yeah. enough again. That's yeah. how he lost his last duck in the last game, wasn't he? Yeah, just getting hit by Gordos. Mm -hmm. He probably tried to hit it yeah. with an attack instead of just shielding it. <laughs> I, I mean, I'd I throw out a lot of Gordos if I were crank. All right, let's see if...
Up smash. And Sleepy's uh, a risky. He can't get the kill because it seems like the only he... way I've seen him kill is by using the bat. Yeah. Okay, you need to just get the up smash. Yeah, I guess. Then the, then the taunt, why not? <laughs> this guy, this is a this is an interesting move. Ooh, that was almost risky. Ooh. Yeah, can't get baited by DDD, he does so much damage. Oh, he, if he would just get him with one nair, just one, just, just nair him like if, five times. If he times gets in there, like, he'll realize, you know, oh wow, this move's so good. I, I want to just yell, use nair, but I might get stuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-game coaching is not allowed here. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, and, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I see that, uh, I'll see what he gets out here. Oh, oh, Riley gets it. Is it oh, happening? Nice, nice, nice uh, conversion. Well, that's good percent. Um, you know, DDD's so fat that he's not it, gonna die. But it, it's sometimes mm -hmm. worth it to just hey, just get the up smash, man. Take that damage. So uh, he did a good job getting a lot of bringing this back with that. It's definitely a big conversion from one of the few grabs he's got in this game. DDD isn't the easiest to grab. Ooh, could have got an up air there. <laughs> yeah, that's such a weird bounce on that quarter. Yeah. If you get quarter to bounce along the ground just right, you can really like catch people off guard, kind of scare them, freak them out. Ooh! Oh, oh God, that's that it. ledge trap that we were talking about. Oh man. You know, Sleepy was playing at the ledge the whole time at the beginning. Yeah, and he got a uh, got popped by that uh, barrel. Is that a barrel hammer? I don't know what that is, but yeah. Got Liz trapped. So I'm gonna have to talk to this guy. I'm gonna have to talk to this guy. He's a he's, right. he's in there more. Yeah. Uh, while we are between sets here, we're gonna plug this channel a little bit. Co-opted plays on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all of it. Yeah, go follow him on all that. If you uh, don't, if you don't have YouTube, I go believe, make a channel. I believe you can do it. Um, and you can catch all of their streams, whatever games they want to play. You can come back and watch us play again. Not me, though. Uh, I drowned in pools. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you got to start somewhere, man. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, man. All right, so. Oh, we got a Mute Oh, Mewtwo and a uh, Falco. All right, so this matchup is kind of hilarious because Mewtwo can combo Falco. Ex I mean, Falcon extremely hard. But uh, so can Falcon. Falcon yeah. in down throw to knee works at like 50 on Mewtwo. It's it's kind of kind of tilted to get hit by that. And you know Mewtwo. he's so so lightweight he'll die from that. So. Yeah. So <clears throat> definitely if I mean, if you see Mewtwo with a big lead, uh, I wouldn't just say it's over because Falcon he can get that uh, knee at any moment. So. This is actually uh, Macho Cheese. I was commentating with him earlier. Really cool guy. He's from West Virginia. Uh, okay. Six is actually a guy I lost to, so. Oh, okay. This is refreshing. Huh? Alright. It's gonna be interesting. I'm excited. I like seeing uh, me too. Fal 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 Captain Falcon's pretty hyped, too. Yeah, I like I like Captain Falcon more. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You, you've you seen Mewtwo do it all. Like, yeah. It's kind of a lot of the same thing. You know, down tilts, up airs, forward airs. Hey, man, hey. Shadow Ball. You gotta get the spikes too, though. Yeah, I mean. And the Nair, and the Nair push to a disabled man is pretty hype. I guess. <laughs> but when Falcon does it, it just feels new all oh, over man. again. I mean, you can't, you can't beat Falcon in the hype. <laughs> all right, so. Got him starting off on FD. Nice damage. Ooh. Well, don't See, goes for that uh, Nair to you know, drag him down and extend the combo. But and, uh, still follows up anyway. Macho Cheese getting a lot of damage really early. You know, less than 15 seconds and you already got hit. Ooh, going right for the down air. Letting you know I'm Captain Falcon. Oh my god, this guy. I like these guys. Double up, dude. This is it entertaining. Works, oh, there we go. Oh, reads oh, the air it. dodge, but not quite I'll, in the I right I want to see a spike so bad. There you go. These guys are insane. <laughs> this is just a slugfest right now. Yeah. Oh my god, these guys are just. That Mewtwo's uh, double jump goes so high. 
Oh. Yeah, he has to watch that side B on the stage. Uh, get a lot of lag. Yeah, we're just seeing these guys go back and forth. Uh, just really high pace action. Ooh, Actually, I was talking to Sticks before uh, we started our set. He said this is his first tournament he's been to. Really? Yeah. He's, ooh, he's looking kind of looking nice right now. Yeah, he looks really fresh. Like just his movement. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that catches you just off guard a lot. Yeah. Such a Do not move. spam it for those beginners out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not gonna kill. He's heavy. One more grab is gonna. Oh, he's. Oh, he could have got the up throw there. Still doesn't do it. Oh, go oh, so nice. deep. That is such a. That was such a deep uh, edge guard. Uh, tries to read for the knee, but uh, Ooh, he can get big damage here. Oh, nice. Lots of damage here from Mewtwo. But Mewtwo has some nice combo. Yeah. Ooh, wall nice jump, but that side B, he got caught by that earlier. Yeah, he can actually just use the uh, Shadow Ball instead and give him no lag. Oh, he's kind of acting a little scared to go to the ledge. Yeah. Oh, that might be it. That's the game. Wow. Well, yeah, sticks is up game one. Very fun match, though. This is a, I like. This is a yeah. big change from the last one. Yeah, <laughs> definitely is... more eventful. Yeah. Uh, Less, last. less projectiles being yeah. spammed. The last one, I was kind of uh, kind of losing me there. <laughs> uh, I like to see uh, these guys going for spikes and everything. Pac-Man. Wait. He switched to Pac-Man. You know, I don't feel like he did that bad either. Though, but. Yeah, that was not that was not warranting a character switch at all. Yeah. And he picks the best Pac-Man skin too. Yeah, Hook him in the uh, kitchen. Get the oven mitts on. Yep. Yeah, serve him up. And some nice strings here. I can't say I'm not too familiar with it. Oh, wow. Gets up a little too early. Oh, bro. That was the worst thing he could have done. Oh, oh, wow. This, this Captain Falcon, <laughs> man. This, I, I, we seen it all now. We seen it. That's all I want to see. Pac Man has a really vulnerable. Um, Recovery, so. Oh, and this, this Captain Falcons is not afraid to go for those spikes. You know? He's uh, he's kind of thirsty. I like it though. There's that ledge trap that, you know, you see the same thing from Gordo's on DVD. Yeah. That Pac-Man can set up. Yeah, he has to watch these uh, up switches. Though. He's gonna, he, can, he can get punished really hard for that. <laughs> I, I'm Just dead. let Pac-Man do hey. his thing. Hey. We'll come back to this fight later. It's like, hey, man. And I really don't know. Wow. Oh, no, Gets no a game. grab. That Never is, seen that happen before. By the worst grab <laughs> in the game. Pac-Man's got just really cool moves. It's just really his grab. Yeah. Oh, he tried to, he tried tried to, to use get the water. By the, yeah. yeah. Out of it, hype, man. I like this guy, man. I'd been out of my seat for that. <laughs> that would have been dope, man. I hope he goes for it again. Go on. Ooh, Ooh, go for nice a stomp on Gen, but uh, nice Macho is able to avoid it. Oh, nice. Oh, Drops nice to reset. Damage. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. This guy's getting a nice stream. Man, he's, uh, he definitely brought this back really fast. I didn't know uh, Pac-Man could rack up damage so fast. Yeah, if you, if you get the right item and get the fire hydrant bouncing, you can... You can do some scary oh things. My God. Oh, frozen this right into the fire. Nice. This is Take it. Fucking oh. great. Oh. 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 He he's can alive. make it back, right? He's alive. Oh. Yeah. Nice. He should have went down and took his trampoline oh. jump. Oh, we got. Ah. Oh man. They both Taunt tried to on him too. <laughs> he said, "Hey, see you later, man." <laughs> oh my God. Nice, nice set coming out there, man. Pretty hype. Captain Falcon. Yeah. Pac-Man's hype too. He, he brought it. But congrats to Sticks uh, again. Right. First tournament, making a name for himself. Yeah, man. First, well, first tournament. Pretty yeah. nice. Very impressive. Pretty nice. Was that to make it out of pools, or you know? Uh, no, because I played him in pools, so. Okay. He's out of pools for sure. Okay. For sure, I believe. 
All right, so right now we have Colonies and Mac Attack. Okay. Now, Colonies, he's a uh, you know ranked number two in Ohio, but Mac Attack, he's definitely no slouch. Uh, Ohio yeah. considers him the best Mac in Ohio, so we'll see how he does this in this matchup. And, uh, it's a pretty interesting matchup because. Uh, Little Mac can kill Fox with uh, down tilt, down tilt, KO punch at zero. At I'm zero? I believe, yeah. He, he, he definitely can kill him at zero with, you know, <laughs> KO punch. Yeah. Some down tilts and maybe an up tilt, but yeah. So he has to watch out for that because, uh, you know, Fox has to, he fights up close, so he kind of has to. Be very wary of that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if uh, Colin is going to maybe camp him out, get that KO punch. Put that hood on, bro. I want that pink hoodie. Pink Which jumpsuit, one? actually. Jump Little Mac. I want to see them give uh, Springman that costume and arms. But we're not here to talk about arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There's that down tilt you're talking about. He knows the combos. Yeah, man, that uh, down tilt works. Ooh, shield look at P. Ooh. Wow, that's a oh, what a combo breaker! That Almost there. had a lot of damage, but Colony jumps out. So oh. he's right at the worst spot. <laughs> wow, he is breaking out of a lot of his combos with the Nair and upbeat coming out there. Ooh, see, oh my God, Ariel Mac! I bet you didn't know he's actually got a good air game. Oh, oh man! And now he's got the KO punch. Oh, oh I thought he was going to die. That's a yeah. He definitely can't take that one again. But, uh, this is definitely scary. I don't think he wants to blow his KO punch. He wants to save it for the next stock. But yep, oh, and he gets to man. keep it. Hmm. Let's see Smash if he. Uh, Yo, nice uh, getting that, getting rid of that uh, KO punch immediately. You got to. Oh, oh, nice, nice air dodge. Down tilt will kill. That was sick. A nice comeback. We'll see uh, who takes the momentum from him after that. I wonder if... Ooh, oh, sneaks right by him. Fair footstool. Yeah, he he does the fair backwards to evade the uh, hitbox of the side B. Really smart, but it doesn't work out. Nice. Quick down, down air. Now he has Put a little back in bad on. situation. Ooh. Ah, man, Little Mac has such an amazing frame rate. Kale Punch is actually coming soon. Oh, trying to get the air dodge. Smartly jumping. Oh, we're able to punish that shot. Man, there we go. Ooh, Not quite, right but. I think Mac Attack's got a lock on him. Nice. He's gonna get some big damage here. Yeah. I, I was watching Mac Attack pretty closely during, uh, ooh, nice. I was watching him very closely during doubles, and he's so good at recovering the way he can just dodge everything and get back yeah. to a ledge, get back to a platform. And uh, Fox definitely doesn't have the easiest time, um, you know, giving him. He doesn't really have anything to give him. He can't go off stage and falls too fast. So. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Kind of just has to fight him on stage. It's just really dangerous, Little Mac. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst place to fight Little Mac. Yeah. Uh, I think he's got to go to a new stage, probably Battlefield, so he can utilize that top platform. Yeah, probably going to see Mac ban. Uh, ban Battlefield. Ban, yeah, ban tri -plats. Yeah, so he's going to go keep a platform at least. He doesn't want to go to Town City. He doesn't want to die at the top too early. Yeah. I want to feel just to these nares and upbees breaking them out of his combos. I like the way Little Mac players play like a boxer. Like the way they use their moves. Nice. They they pick their punches. That nair is such a good combo breaker. Very scary. <laughs> oh, uh, nice. Mac, He's getting uh, the Colony is keeping his distance. See, there's not much he can do, though. Oh, that might be it. 
Oh, barely making it back. Oh, barely missing the up smash. Yeah. Went a little too early, but... He oh, gets the follow-up with right Nero. Up smash. Yeah, it's an interesting match for, matchup for Fox because he can't really, yeah, he can't really edge guard. Yeah. Attack attack keeps going for the uh, down tilt to forward smash. I don't think Colony's going to fall for it. Nah, he's, he's uh, there's no yeah. reason to air dodge anymore. Yeah. Getting that dash attack so he can't break out with the nair. Oh wow! How? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. There's some damage from colonies. Yeah, and this is where it gets punch. Oh, not. Oh, what? He air dodged I'm, right I'm there. very, Ooh. very. Missing the ledge right there. Which is still now, scary for Colony. Yeah. Oh, nice. Getting that, uh. Getting rid of that KO punch immediately. Yeah. Oh, going for the re. Nice. And that's game right there. He did that. Very nice. Mac Attack did that earlier. He did a uh, two up tilt on shields and got punished for it. Yes. And ended up losing his stock both times. If you. If you see that happen, just cut your losses and run away. <laughs> yeah. It's a definitely, uh, even though he uh, didn't take that much percents, it's yeah. so scary because Lil Mac gets that KO punch and hey man, it's GG. But, uh, Colin doing a nice job of just quickly getting rid of that. He is like, hey man, you ain't keeping this KO punch. So <laughs> he's like, yeah. he got it's hard to keep it though when they get invincibility and. Yeah, and they just chase Have you. your way with you. Against any other character, it'd probably be a little easier, but Fox is fast enough to keep up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Little Mac, hey, Little Mac got the speed to catch you right yeah. now. Dash attack doing 10%, actually. It's not because he's not falling for the air dodges. But he's, uh, yeah, he's air dodge reads. Yeah, you gotta jump up there and at least hit him with something. Look, reset that combo. Little Mac is so good at breaking out of combos. Nice power trio coming out. Made it a lot less safe. Nice back here, getting him uh, in a bad position. Colony's using shield stops there to, you know, keep safe on the ground while Colony's just trying to get over him. Ooh, ooh, scary situation right here. Ooh, man, it's so scary. Little Mac is so scary. Oh, not, not, not smart decision to jump there. <laughs> oh, and he's probably gonna get us. Ooh. Ooh. He's not falling. Yeah. But he, hey, he's going to go for it, man. Because why not? He can't get anything <laughs> if, else. If that's his only pseudo kill confirm, then all the power Ooh, to him. Nice That's, confirm that's a right good, there. good combo right there. Yeah. Let's see if he, how much damage he can get before he, if or when he loses the stock. Oh. And it's so that easy, folks. There you go. He didn't so do the up tilt twice, and then he goes in and Ooh. does more with his combo. Oh, Ooh. Damn, big damage coming out really fast. Colin's going to try to rack up some damage here, but uh, he has to watch out for these combo breakers. Very scary for Fox right now. Ooh. Is that gonna kill? No. KO punch. Ooh, uh oh. Wow, nice Don't. aerial giving him stage control. Ooh, wow. This is so scary right now. Next tech has the KO punch. He just needs to be a little more oh careful. Oh my god. So scary right now. And. Now what? Guessing with the F2. Oh, oh wow. Oh, man. Good stuff to Mac Attack. Upset to Mac Attack. Man, that is a... Uh... Man, oh. Big upset there. Breaking out so many of his combos with those upbeats. So hard to deal with. <laughs> Magtech taking a deep breath after that one. Yeah, man, he, uh... He was on the ropes the whole time. Yeah, he just uh, pressured him really hard with those... Those nares and the upbeats. <laughs> yeah. Kyle is definitely not happy about that one, so. No. <laughs> not at all. That's, That's not the end of either of their brackets, though, I don't think. So. Well, he made it out winner side, or loser side. Oh. Pretty sure. Check the bracket. So, 
Oh, we got a Mac attack. Coming out winner side. Survival. And you know, t after today, when this stream's all over and we're all done having fun, you can come back to this stream. You can go to their YouTube channel, Co-Optic Plays. You can watch everything you want. They play a lot of games. You can also go to Matchstick Melee. They play Melee. Oh, fighting, gen fighting games in general. Uh, so Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, yep. You're going to get Pokken on there? Pokken? DX? Wow. So we got top world rank Pokken players in Columbus. Uh, so you'll probably see that coming up too. I'm probably going to hop off here. Uh, it hurts, done. man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man. Might hop on later, though. All right. Like we're gonna get uh, yeah solo commentary for me. That's all right. Alright, welcome, dude. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Sleepy. Sleepy. Oh yeah, I just uh, watched you play. Alright, who are we getting? The Keast versus Wood. Keast is a. Uh, I think he runs some other tournaments here in Ohio. Oh. Yeah. Keast are you from is like the best TO in the state. Okay, you're from Ohio? Yeah, yeah. Columbus. Okay, cool. Um, He's got a solid cloud. Keast has a solid cloud. Um, uh -huh. He has a habit of like. Like going for an option, like even if it doesn't work. Like when I pl I, I main Lucas, when I play him, like I keep Psy magneting whatever Psy B is called. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the and is it's it energy. Flash? Yeah. No. Wait. It, oh, it's his neutral B. I'm sorry. I've never played Cloud before. Um, okay. The blade the, beam. Yeah, the blade I beam. Think, yeah. I yeah. Well, he keeps using it, and I keep Psy magneting it, but he'll still go for it. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully he doesn't go against... Uh, yeah, if, if he keeps doing it against um, Wood, then he's just going to oil panic it, and that's definitely. not going to be good. Oh, he goes for the up smash, but he doesn't get it. Uh, Game Watch oh, he, some he... pretty good damage on his throws, but... Cloud gets out miraculously. Oh, Keast has his limit now, but he might have to waste it on he his recovery. He blew it yeah. trying oh. to recover, but Game yeah, Watch that's ate gonna that be, up with back air. That's yeah. going to be Keast's first stock. Keast can still probably make it back if he plays safe. Definitely. And just use his moves sparingly. <laughs> Chopping up all the bacon. It looks like Keese is already starting to bring it back. He has 62% on Game & Watch, and Game & Watch being the second lightest character in the game. He's gonna die. And Cloud having, like, very good kill options. It seems like Keese can bring this back very easily, but only time will tell. He almost gets the, the recovery on him, but it doesn't quite connect. Ooh, Ooh. Invincible up smash yeah. keeps Game & Watch safe. Uh, he's got the... Oh, that was close. That would have been a quick two stock. And what is just making him work for it? 
Yeah, uh, well that, no, that won't, that won't take his stock, but Game & Watch is at kill percent, and Keese has a decent amount of rage, so, yep. It's, oh, yeah, the dash attack is gonna take his stock. Uh, up air is keeping Cloud from falling down. Ouch. Oh, no. He'll make it back. But <laughs> no, he won't. He won't. He doesn't have the magnet hands, but uh, good stuff to Wood so far. You know, I think Keys could have made it back had he, had he successfully recovered there. What did he have to do different to recover there? Well, I mean... Not blow a jump somewhere? Yeah, something like that. I'm going right into it. No time debating stages. Alright. Oh, yeah, he... he, he uh, Don't down smash the neutral, with, folks. He breaks out a Woods combo with an up B, and... Oh, he... he he goes for a grab, but he doesn't make it. That could have been an oil panic, but you know, he was too close, so. Yeah. When you when you bucket something up, you got a lot of M lag on. And there so goes Keith's limit. That's definitely gonna change. Uh what what should be real careful right about now because you know Keith Keith could get a jank kill with if he gets enough percent off of him before his limit is... He's going to need to confirm into it, though, because Wood yeah. is moving really, really quick. Oh, he, he uh, gets an un unfortunate uh, finishing touch there, but it doesn't really work. He goes way so, so deep. With the bacon. I don't know why. Oh, what's gonna DI that? And he tries to go for an up smash read, but it doesn't really work. And Wood yeah. just waits it out, carries him What's gonna the take Keith's first stock? Yeah. Wood's gonna want to find another grab. Yeah. Baits him in with a uh, teabagging on the other side of the stage. <laughs> So, Game & Watch is definitely at kill percents now. Um, Wood gets a jab, he almost gets the 5 hammer, but he shields Invincible up smash oh, again, he gets the but one the hammer. One. <laughs> if he can get, if he uses Judge and just gets 9, like, that'll probably end it, considering how much rage he has. Yeah, but you don't want to rely I, on I think, RNG I think right he's, now. <laughs> he's fishing for it. Just take the yeah. 2 stock and go home. Almost break shield with that, but... Oh, that's a nice kill from Keith. All right, Keith, you're not out of it yet. a little late. He's got to be close to getting his limit. Invincible yeah. up smash again. Oh. oh, he gets the eight, but... Ooh, oh, everybody... Yeah. So yeah. he's wasted his limit on recovering. Well, he didn't waste it. He, you know, he had to. to. He had yeah. to, but like he he wasted it by hanging around down there for too long. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't know Bacon was such a good spacing tool. It's a mind game. <laughs> Up smashing at the edge twice. That's something I do, and I go up to him pool. So. <laughs> I think Keese knows that going for neutral B too much will... Oh! Oh! DBZ! Not quite a DBZ. All it's gonna take is one finishing touch or one cross slash and, you know, Keese will take this game. Oh! Oh! Third slash oh. finishes him! He gets trapped in that uh, neutral B. That was... Keith is able great. to get the forward smash, nice. You know, when he used his limit on his neutral B, it would have been a good opportunity for Wood to like, to use oil panic, but like, it was at I, such I close range that I still think really he was too anything. close, yeah. 
that, you know, even if he takes it in, he's still going to get the forward smash. So. Yeah. I know the pain of having a move that absorbs energy-based projectiles, but it's, like, super slow. Yeah, it's not worth it's, it. Like, when I play Wii Fit, it just it never works at, at close range. So they're going to take game three to Lilat, and Keith gets a grab, but he doesn't do anything with it. Keith gets a jab. And Wood gets two dash attacks, and then he gets the up air. So right now, Wood has the lead. Wood's keeping him off the ground pretty well. Um, yeah. So up air is a great tool for keeping them, like, keeping yeah. them in the air. Even if it doesn't hit, the wind and, box like, will keep them away from you for at least Cloud's, a while. Cloud's air game is pretty subpar, and, like, well, now, now Keese has his limit, so that could change things. If Keese can get a couple more hits and then use perhaps finishing touch or something. Right now he's going to need it to recover. Yeah, he's he's going to have to recover here. But nice. Ooh, the angle see. of Lilat actually enabling his Lilat jank. beam to uh, go downwards, but would not fall for it. Lilat jank saves lives. <laughs> That's uh, one way to look at it. And let's nope. see. He successfully DIs it, but Wood. yeah, yeah, that's yep. not. Just goes right out there Cloud's, and hits him. Cloud's linear recovery won't let him make it yeah. back from that far off stage. Jab being safe at the edge. And oh, he gets six Wood. on him. Ooh. Yes! Oh, the up air. Up air. Yeah. That little bit of rage in Wood's high percent let him successfully kill with an up air. But he's still at 67. If Keese can get a few hits on Wood and, you know, like, he has decent rage now. So probably finishing touch might kill as long as he just stays on stage and doesn't waste his limit. Like he, 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 like he did. <laughs> <laughs> this time he actually wasted it. Yeah. Oh! oh, yeah, he's, he's not... Wood tried to save him set's gonna go to make Wood. this a little more fun, but... Good job, Wood. Sorry, guys. We got some goofballs in the venue. couple pools going on, do you know? Not sure. I know, well... Looks like it. They seem I just, to be really uh, I just played the final round of losers for my pool, and I lost. This was like, I don't know, what, 20 minutes ago or something? Yeah. I know they started so the I, second wave, I think but... my pool might be over or close to being over. Yeah. I haven't seen Crank play yet, so I assume it's still going. Hachimari? I haven't actually seen this guy play yet. Uh, Crank, did you play, um, did you play? No, no, did, no, did you play yet? Okay, yeah. I don't know.
Hachimari pulling his hair behind his head. Doesn't want to get, don't want to get that in your face when you're playing. I don't know a lot of these players because yeah, I haven't really I haven't really been to anything out of Columbus, so Yeah, I think um a lot of these guys, you know, it's their first time out. Um, other people came from out of state. Yeah. I know a couple people came from like West Virginia. Uh -huh. Which was like at least a two hour drive at at a, yeah. at the minimum. Yeah, I know. So here we have Pachimari versus Sombra. I've never seen either of them play. I saw Sombra play double. He's really good. It's very quick, as you can see. Yeah. Holy cow. As, as a Diddy should be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Double spot he. dodge. Pachimari not able to keep up with his speed. Lasering in the wrong direction. It's unfortunate because Fox has a home field advantage on this stage. You see drops a banana, but it disappears. I think he wanted to Z drop it a little closer to the edge, so yeah. his side be what. Or maybe he was trying it. to get it to disappear so he could banana toss again. Okay. I mean, okay, so Pachimari will SD for his first stock. Which is unfortunate. Somber gets a monkey flip there. Edge cancels it too. Ooh, new, oh, neutral nice. air sets up some back airs, but yeah, Fox but uh, falls a little too quickly. Yeah, Fox has a very, very like fast fall speed, so it's hard to do things like that on him. Down tilt converts into grab. Gets his banana. Keeps messing around with it. Depachi takes it and blows it. Depachi Mario just waits and. Uh, oh, he tries to get an up smash read, but Sombra very deftly avoids it, which was good on his part. Um, Sombra's off stage. Yeah, that's. Okay, he gets a, a monkey flip, and that gets Fox off stage for a sec, but it doesn't really. He's trying to edge guard with, uh, peanut. yeah, peanut pop gun. Back throw. Uh, yeah, back it. throw. Yeah. yeah, back throw will take it, and he he gets a stylish back air right as it says game. So, <laughs> pretty cool pose. I like. Sombra is crazy. I, whenever. I win a uh, like a match. Sometimes I like to PK freeze off stage and go into free fall. There's a lot of cool characters that have you know. Falco's tons. dab. Falco dab, yeah. I made Falco and it's really satisfying. DDD uh, crouch. Very cool. Yeah, I hate it when DDD crouches. It it makes me so mad. Or, like uh, on for glory when it's <laughs> lagging and they get a, a kill because of like jank. Yeah. And they just crouch, and I can't do anything about it because, like, it's running at 15 frames per second. Yeah. It just makes me so mad. Full glory is not the uh, place to have a good time. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's all I really have because I'm on the 3DS. Yeah. Uh, Pachi switches to Samus. I wonder why. For fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Maybe he realized like I'm gonna lose this set anyway, so I'll just yeah, switch to it, Samus. I do think um, Samus is able to get out of some of those combos, but Sombra's yeah, well, crazy, dude. Yeah. Well, let's keep it esports. I don't think we're sponsored, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Down. Down air does not convert into up smash. We just don't want Nintendo to give us a copyright <laughs> strike. <laughs> uh, honestly, am I looking at Diddy Kong or Sonic? This is insane. Well, Diddy, Diddy is able to move very swiftly and like very technically, like. If you if you master his movement, like you, you just Win. he's he's too much <laughs> he's too much for you to handle. Again, down air to up smash doesn't work. Diddy Kong's too short. Shit. 
shoots a couple missiles, but uh, well, no surprisingly, Pachimari is still alive, but it looks like he's close to being killed. Yep, yep. he gets a uh, edge guard down smash, and that'll take his first stock. Any. His banana just completely disintegrates as On he throws it at Pachimari. While he's rolling, yeah. And will the fair take it? No. Sombra manages to DI the fair and get a back throw. Now Samus is off stage. Gets hit Sombra's, by the banana. It... Sombra's in an edge guard situation, and he seems to be doing a pretty good job, but Pachimari will get back on stage. Sombra was waiting for him to roll get up, but... Uh, and he gets the banana toss by just, just a sliver of a second. Oh, and he tosses it on the ledge while he's recovering. <laughs> that's that's very stylish. Do you see what I'm talking about? How Sombra just is way faster than any other Diddy I've seen. Yeah. He doesn't like to be patient is what I'm getting from this. Yeah. Trips into the grab. I don't think the trip was necessary. Definitely not. <laughs> Just for style points. Oh, and he intercepts his tether with the banana toss. Ooh. If he just hit the stage, that could have been a uh, fight out for Samus there. Hachimari. Oh yeah. Not okay, a safe that's upbeat. that's gonna that's gonna take him. That's gonna take the game and and the set. Valiant effort to Pachimari. Good shit to Tombra. He made a fan of me. That was impressive. Yeah. And now we have Colors is up, but I don't know who the other one is. Uh, he looks like he's from out of state, I believe. Yeah, probably. 